Hey, I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, 2020, has it been uh, an easy year for you or a more challenging year for you? Been kind of rough, huh, for most people, <clears throat> most businesses, <clears throat> most families. A lot of stuff going on, you know, being locked up. Having fires in cities, police being killed, laws being broken, nobody doing anything. And then on top of that, we've got the corruption that we see every day at the government levels. It's a lot going on. And you probably had your private messages and, and your timelines filled up with videos letting you know how much is going on. It causes a lot more angst. Every time we see it, we go, oh yeah, boy, oh boy, this world is, just seems like it's hard to fix. How do you, I mean, how do you fix a situation, and I'm going to share with you a possibility in a moment. How do you fix a situation where businesses think that if they open a business, it can be broken into and burned down. What are the chances that they can raise the money to build a new store? I'm thinking not a lot. Because it all over the country, places are being burned down. And all over the country, or in a lot of places, we have we have governments deciding whether or not you can even be in business. Or if you go outside, what you'll wear on your face. Right? We're all familiar with this. When you think about those things, and you respond to them, and you share them, and you get on Twitter, and you write a message that's brilliant, does it change the minds of the anarchists? Does it change the governor's minds, the mayor's minds? How often does that happen? Not, not a lot, not a lot. Probably millions and millions of entries made on Twitter every day. I don't know, could be, could be billions. Because, I don't know, what do they have, 200 million members? And some of them write 50, 50 tweets a day, right? So, how many of them have changed an anarchist mind and heart? One, two, not many. And yet, we will persist tomorrow to write more tweets and to send more videos to show how angry we are. And you know, when we do that, we create frequencies that go out into the world that are picked up by everyone else in the world. Has that worked? How well has that worked? We've been doing this since since man and woman began. And that stuff just seems to pile up in our memories. We remember the slights that we had, the traumas we've had, all those things, and we carry them around and we react to them. Maybe there's another way. You know, if you know me, I'm going to hold this up here. So just give me a moment. Oops. I'm glad I looked down. It wasn't even turned on. I'm going to turn it on now. It's going to make some noise. This is a frequency generator. Remember we talked about frequencies. When we get upset, we put out frequencies. 
because frequencies are picked up. This generates frequencies. And for the moment, I'm going to put it on straight ahead with just a minor bit of oscillation. Hope it's not making too much noise for you. I'm going to hold it in front of my face here so you can feel it. You might do this on a large screen. Make your screen as big as possible so that you can see what I'm talking about. If you leave it on a small screen, you're going to miss it. So go ahead and click down there and make a larger screen. Some of you are noticing the frequencies right now. Within a second or two, you felt it. Some of you might take a little longer. This energy goes right through the screen, just like a video does, a music video. So as you can hear a song, and it can bring tears to your eyes. I've been asking people to share these videos. And some of you have been great about it, and you have shared them. But I look at the count of how many times it's been shared, and they've been shared, with how many videos I get in a day, telling me about the latest atrocity that's going on. And I can assure you that, that video that you sent me, or that someone has sent you, has made people upset. Has it solved the problem? If you're feeling a change in your heart right now, that fast, I'm going to suggest that maybe this would be a better alternative. So that even if the anarchist doesn't see this, everyone else will. Some hearts will be lifted. The depression can leave. The alcoholism can be lowered. The drug addiction can be lowered. The violence in the homes can be lowered. So all of a sudden, communities become like they're moving towards the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden is just ahead on their way. Right now, we're in the Garden of Beaten. We're being beaten down. Our economy is being beaten down. Jobs are being beaten down. Farms are being closed. Food prices are going up. So sending those videos hasn't really had the impact that you desire. You desire to make things better, and that's why you send them. The question is, are they working? Are they working better than this? If you're sitting here and noticing that you're starting to feel a little bit more relaxed, have your answer. We have what seems to be an almost impossible situation in this world. One that seems to be unsolvable because how do you convince a business to expand when the chances are greater that it could be burned down? It will be stolen. All their merchandise stolen. My understanding is, is that insurance companies do not cover losses from riots. Maybe there are some, but even if there are, those premiums will be going up and up and up, which means the price of those goods will go up. Are you making more money? Can you afford to pay higher prices if there's a store? Can your children go to school? Why not? Because for thousands or millions of years, 
we have been building up this hatred, this upset, they've done me wrong feeling inside of ourselves. So we feel justified striking out. So it starts inside of us. If you're feeling inside of you a little bit more relaxed, maybe you have your answer. Maybe if we share this, instead of those other videos, we'll find a way to make this possible for everyone. So that these kinds of incidents become rare or non-existent. Because right now, they're becoming more common and more common and more common. The choice is in our hands. It's up to you to act. I invite you to share this information, share this video. Maybe we have an answer. The other is not the answer. We've already proven it's not the answer. Maybe this is an answer. Take care and God bless.